Ten years ago, on April 19th in 2001, the space shuttle STS-100 launched to the International Space Station, a relatively new facility at that time, and in the payload bay was the beautiful Canada Arm-2, ready to begin its task on orbit. Quietly on orbit, the first uh, Canadian spacewalker, Chris Hadfield, and his uh, partner, Scott Perzinski, uh, unfolded the arm and uh, we maneuvered it over to the PDGF and installed the uh, SSRMS. And its first task was to hand over the pallet that it rode up on to the shuttle arm, uh, a cousin to Canada Arm 2. As you all recall, that was an exciting mission, not because of any challenges necessarily with Canada Arm 2 but because of the computers on board that decided to act up altogether, something we thought wasn't possible. After much wrangling, we finally got the signal squared away. We were able to command uh, Canada Arm 2, and she handed over the pallet to the, S, uh, to the uh, SRMS and to successfully put the pallet in the bay. And so began the, uh, the storied career of the Canada Arm 2 on, uh, on the space station. Uh, she is without a doubt one of the most critical components on board station, having participated in the construction of the, uh, of the spacecraft that's on orbit today. Some 29 uh, missions were supported, 27 of them from shuttle, two of them uh, birthing, capturing and birthing the HTV vehicle. And in all that time, it's just been absolutely flawless uh, performance. And again, without her, we couldn't have gotten to where we are today. So as a team, you should be very, very proud of the performance of Canada Arm 2. I look forward to its participation in, in uh, not only further jobs on board ISS with construction and maintenance, but also perhaps with research as we look forward to some, some uh, robotic servicing missions in the future. So to your entire team, congratulations on a job well done. Enjoy this day celebrating what should be great, great pride that you have in this, this wonderful creation that we have on board ISS. We look forward to many, many more years of service from Canada Arm 2. Thank you very much.